Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share yet another update on my custom workstation build for 2025. Now, my previous update was all about the brand new Ryzen uh, chip, which I have here in hand. That's the 9950X3D, essentially marrying uh, the 9950X with the 9800X3D and ultimately yielding the best consumer hybrid chip ever made. Outclassing Intel, of course, the Ultra 9 has been blown out of the water. This thing is uh, really doing everything right, at least on benchmarking that I've seen. I'll include a link in the description for those of you interested in purchasing one. At $699, US I don't think it's the best chip for everyone, to be clear, but for users like myself, uh, in my case, a gamer who's also a content creator, an amateur uh, enthusiast photographer, you really aren't going to find a better chip, at least from what I've seen on benchmarking, than the 9950X3D. And a big part of that is the engineering. It's because uh, the cache has been moved under the chiplet. Thermals are basically reimagined with this chip from what I've seen. Uh, it runs uh, really efficiently. We're talking about 170 watt, 200 watt performance here compared to uh, really the only thing that was close to it in performance was AMD's owned, I think, the 7950X3D, um, which is interesting, but a video for another time. So I'm excited about this because it really is the best of both worlds. And for someone like myself, who's traditionally an Intel user, let me get this opened, it's a big deal. Um, this is the first time that I'll be building uh, an AMD-driven uh, uh, machine. And yeah, I just never thought I would necessarily see the day where we would have um, an AMD chipset that could really do everything. So this is exciting, no question about it. Um, and when I say everything, I mean that uh, I've had AMD laptops for a while now. I have not been able to rely on them for a desktop because of the fact that I would always need a dedicated workstation for editing and a dedicated workstation for gaming. Now with this chip, um, I feel like running multi-monitors, as I always have now for you know the last 15 years, um, is not going to be a problem, and I know that this can handle essentially everything I plan to throw at it. So, really excited. You can see I've got the Asus uh, X870F uh, motherboard ready to go for this chip. It has been waiting. Um, I have not purchased RAM yet. I still have to get that. Uh, haven't gotten my power supply yet, but I've got my Thermal Take uh, Tower 600 uh, Matcha Green. I've got um, I'm also waiting on an NVMe now, possibly. I was going to use a 990 uh, Pro 4 terabyte, but with the 9100 uh, from Samsung around the corner, I really want to get a Gen 5 in here, so I'm likely going to pair the Gen 5 with this chip. I'm trying to think of what other components. I've got the uh, Trix Panorama uh, 360. I didn't go with the, the RGB version. I wanted the Rota Pro fans. We'll see if I end up using them, but I went with that anyway. So we'll see how this all works out, but exciting. I think I'm going to stick with the, the Tower uh, 600 from Thermal Take, but it is possible. Uh, there are a few other cases on my wish list here, so we'll see. But now I've got this guy. I've got my 4090 ready to be migrated. I'm leaning towards 128 gigs of RAM, but I may go with 96. You'll get an update on that too, as well as the power supply and ultimately uh, the fans. I'm going to probably go with Lian Lee. Surprise, surprise. But things are shaping up, and I'm just excited about this new build, having the extra PCIe lanes, Gen 5 support, uh, being able to really utilize NVMe storage the way it should be. So this is going to be a really interesting build. Uh, but any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button. And as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.